everyone, it's Alice and welcome to this reading vlog where I will be reading, as I'm sure you can see by the title, The Queen's Gambit by Walter Tevis. I'm assuming most of you will have heard of this book because of the show and my plan for this vlog is to read the book and then actually watch the show because I didn't watch it when it came out last year, even though it seems like the perfect TV show for me, I just never got around to it and it feels to me like the perfect like series to watch when it's fall so I've sort of been saving it and I got this book recently and I figured I would read the book first and then see how the show compares. The story in here if you don't know is about Beth who is sent to an orphanage at the age of eight and she discovers two ways to escape. She plays chess and she takes the green little pills given to her and the other children to keep them subdued and I think it becomes clear that she is like a prodigy and she can really do something with her chess abilities. And then it says that she can never quite overcome her urge to self-destruct. And all of that sounds very interesting. I'm assuming this is like historical or a classic. I don't know when this came out actually. The book was first published in 1983 so I guess you could consider this a modern classic and Google tells me that the story is set like it begins in the mid 1950s and proceeds into the 1960s which sounds great. I am pretty excited about this because I've mostly only heard amazing things and then I've heard some negative things. So I do think that there are some people who really dislike this book but most people enjoy it and I generally really enjoy historical like historical fiction with female main characters so my hope is that this is going to be great and I think it's going to be very interesting to see how this compares to the show because I think that's always interesting to take a look at. I am also just super excited to finally get around to watching this show because I feel like I'm a little late to the party but I'm getting there and I think that I don't remember the actress's name, the one who plays the main character in the TV series. I just, I've seen some clips of her acting and like clips from The Queen's Gambit and it just looks amazing so I can't wait to see her performance and just see the whole show and I do love like historical TV series so I think all of this is gonna be great but maybe I'm being too optimistic. Anyways I'm gonna go start this book now although actually before I sit down and start reading this I'm gonna do some laundry because I went to the post office today and I picked up a package and I got some new like sheets or like bed stuff, duvet covers. I don't know. I got some new stuff for my bed and I can't wait to start using it, but I need to wash them first and I think it's gonna look great because I actually painted my bedroom the other day in a new color and it's all gonna go really well together, I think. I don't know how interesting this is gonna be, but let me show you what I got. So I got this sheet for my bed in this like dark green color that I think looks really nice. And then I got these, which I just had to get when I saw them. This is like duvet covers and like a pillow cover. And I guess it has like a woodland theme and I just thought it looked really cute. I guess I could take it out properly so you can see. The pattern looks like this. So there are these deer on them and this fox and this like, it feels a little bit autumnal to me and I thought it would look good with my new wall, which I painted green. Let me show you that too actually and we can see how well it goes together. So it's kind of dark in here so it's not that easy to see but I painted this wall the other day. It used to be dark blue and now it's this like green color kind of like antique green if that makes sense and I painted it in a kind of like textured paint that makes it look kind of like extra interesting and because I painted this wall I now want to do like <laughs> everything in green in here and so I thought that this would look good with this. You know what I mean? It is kind of hard to film the color of this wall because it's so dark in here but you see what I mean right? Like this is gonna go really well together I feel. I know this isn't an interior design <laughs> vlog but I just wanted to show you 
So let me throw these in the washer and then I'm gonna start my book. So it's been a few days and I haven't been reading loads because I was sick for a couple of days and all I did in that time was lay in my bed and scroll <laughs> on my phone. But I've read a little bit more in this today and I've made it to page 60. What's happened so far is that we've met Beth, obviously, who's the main character. We've seen her at the orphanage, we've seen her discover chess, and we've seen her be adopted. So she lives with this couple and it seems like it's all right, but it's not great. Like the mother is a little overbearing and the father is just like completely absent. And Beth is like going to school, but she doesn't have any friends. And she seems like very lost in her own world. And like, she's not really making any connections with people. Like she seems kind of isolated and lonely, but then she finds solace in chess. I quite like Beth as a character so far. She's obviously smart. But she's also like, she seems unaware of what happens around her or she just doesn't care. So I think it'll be interesting to see what happens with her. I'm also quite enjoying the chess bits actually. Like there are several parts in here where we just get to read about chess and different like moves and stuff. And I feel like it's explained pretty well. So I'm actually quite enjoying those bits. I like the writing in here and it's quite like, a fast-paced story in a lot of ways like not a lot is happening all the time but everything that is happening feels necessary and it feels like it's important and if you took it out it would take something away from the story which is something that I love like I very much appreciate in books like nothing feels unnecessary I'm really rooting for Beth already but I can tell that my girl is gonna struggle. Like she's gonna be brilliant, but she's gonna struggle. I'm excited to keep going with this and see what happens to Beth. I really hope she's gonna be <laughs> okay. I am gonna try to read a little bit more today, but I actually don't know how much time I'm gonna have because I have plans. I'm like weirdly busy these days. Like I have a lot going on and there's like, I don't know what happened, but a lot of my free time that I would usually spend reading and doing like YouTube and stuff. Uh, it's just like filled up with other stuff. And I guess it's a good thing, but like, you know when you say yes to things when you're in a really good mood and then you get to the day and you're like, oh, I don't want to do it. <laughs> that is happening to me a lot these days. And I kind of just want to stay home and read, but you can't always do that. So I'm gonna go about my day and I will talk to you when I've read a little bit more. I kind of want to just like sit down and read the rest of this and I'll see if I can somehow manage to do that. It might be a little bit too optimistic, but we'll see. So it's been like a week, <laughs> but I finally finished this book. I think I mentioned, I just have had a very busy week and it was like a longer week for me because I worked the weekend and today is Saturday and I just got home from work and I finished the final like 30 pages that I had of this so now it's done. That means I can finally start watching the series but I thought I would just quickly like wrap up what I thought about this book. I am the kind of person who like it takes me a while to really figure out how I feel about a book sometimes and this is one of those books, I think. I think this started off really, really well. And I think that the first part of it, like the first half was maybe a little, I don't wanna say better necessarily, but it was a little more interesting than the final part to me. I think that in the beginning, I felt like I could really follow all of the chess stuff. Like I felt that it was interesting when I read about it. And then the further into the book we get, the more, <laughs> I wouldn't say there's more chess, but there's more explanations of like chess games and different moves. And there are pages and pages of like chess games, which I understand why they're there, but I didn't feel like that was as like interesting or as like, suspenseful, I guess, as I maybe felt it should have been. I don't really know how to explain it, but I just felt like the chess 
like the descriptions of all the chests in the last part of the book it just ended up being a little too much for me i thought it was more interesting in the beginning of the book and i feel like there's i don't know i feel like there's more about like the characters in the beginning of the book than towards the end i don't really know i do still really love beth as a character we follow her from the age of like eight i think until at the end of the book she's like 19 or 20 so she's still really really young and i really liked reading about her and her struggles and her i think i mentioned that i could tell that she was gonna have some problems and she definitely does and i liked how sort of the book comes full circle where she like returns to the orphanage towards the end and i don't want to spoil it but like she goes back and she like you know stuff happens and i thought that was really interesting she like reconnects with a friend that she had back then and i really liked all of that i think maybe i liked reading about her more than i liked reading about the chess but chess is obviously a huge part of her life it's basically her whole life really and so i don't know i just felt like it lost me a little bit towards the end one thing that i do really like about this is First of all, it's a coming-of-age story, and I really like coming-of-age stories, but I really like the fact that even though Beth is kind of like a prodigy, like she is obviously very, very talented, she has to work to get where she wants to be. Like, it doesn't just come to her for free. Like, in the beginning it kind of does, but then she sort of learns that she needs to study and she needs to have a lot of discipline and... I really liked that she faces some challenges even though she's like insanely talented it doesn't just come to her like all the time and a lot of the book she spends like studying different chess stuff and I felt like you can tell that she has to sacrifice things to get what she wants even though she has this like insane talent that she's seemingly born with. I don't know if I really have that much more to say about this right now, to be honest. I think it'll be very interesting to see the show. I think the series is like seven episodes, which feels very bingeable to me. And I think this is going to be great as a series. Obviously, I've heard great things about the series too, so I have kind of high expectations. But I can tell like while I was reading this that I could see how this would be a good series and i can't wait to start watching it i'm gonna start it today and see how much i can watch and i'm gonna try to like just blaze through the whole thing i'm really excited to see it and i think that the chess parts in this book like the parts where there's just like page after page after page about <laughs> a particular chess game i think that might be better to watch on screen like it might be like the suspense might be better like the suspense of the game might be easier to like capture when you see it maybe so i'm excited to see that and i'm excited to see beth and see how she is in the series and i think that maybe some of the side characters in here i felt were not maybe not like super easy to grasp like some of the characters that we only meet for a little while i maybe felt were not super well developed so it'll be interesting to see like how that goes like beth has some romantic relationships in this book and i didn't really feel like i didn't really get that necessarily so i wonder if that will make more sense in the series I think that was kind of everything I had to say for this update. I can tell that my brain is just like mush today because it's been a long week and I just need to not use my brain <laughs> for a little bit. So I'm gonna start watching the series and yeah, I guess I'll just watch it and then we'll come back and we'll compare and contrast and see how it was. Right now, I would, I would guess 
that I'm gonna like the series more than the book. But I don't know if that's just because I have really high expectations for the series, but I think having read this now, I think I might prefer this story in a series format, but we'll see. I guess I'll have to watch it first and then we can talk about it. All right, so I've watched the show now. I <laughs> watched the whole thing in like two days or something and it was really, really good. Like, I can't believe I waited this long to watch it. I'm kind of happy about it because it was fun to like read the book first and then watch the show, but it was amazing. It's like my type of show to a T. It was very interesting to start the show right after I finished the book. Like I started watching the show the day that I finished it. And I kind of like that because <laughs> I'm the kind of person who forgets books quite easily and I will like forget details. And so it was fun to like start the show right after I'd finished the book. Also because it made me appreciate how true to the book the show is. It's not completely true, there are obviously some differences, but it was like surprisingly close to the book, I felt. I did obviously notice some differences, and I think that the biggest difference to me was that the show is a little bit more dramatic, like it amps everything up a little bit in my opinion, or maybe I just didn't picture it quite that way, but I felt like the show was a little bit more dramatic, but I mean that in a good way, I don't mean like over dramatic, it was just like more, there was a little bit more drama, and I felt like, like I think I mentioned, the chess parts were way more suspenseful, and I enjoyed them a lot more than I did, like I enjoyed watching it a lot more than I did reading about it, and I felt like the show was really good at like building the tension of those games. Maybe it's like because there's added music and stuff, like that always helps, but I think for me it was better to just like see it instead of reading about it. I think some of the examples of how things were sort of amped up a little bit was, I guess, spoiler alert, like if you haven't watched the show this is maybe a little bit of a spoiler, Beth's like hitting rock bottom felt way more like visceral in the show to me than it did in the book. Like it was pretty severe in the book, but I felt like in the show it was just like worse. And then I also felt like her reaction to some of the things that happened, like I don't want to say what it is, but something happens, like someone leaves her life <laughs> in uh, both the show and the book, like, someone important to her. And in the book, I felt like she was sad, but she wasn't, like, devastated. And I felt like in the show, she had a more, like, a bigger reaction to it. Like, she was more devastated, I guess. I guess there was more, there were more extreme feelings in the show than I felt like there were in the book. There are also more characters in the show than ever appear in the book. Like, some of them are just completely made up, and I actually kind of liked that, and I liked seeing the exploration of the different relationships that Beth has in the show, although I will say, in the book, her, like, whatever romantic relationships she have are really not that important. I think I mentioned that too, like, they're just there, and it just happens, but it's not, like, a huge deal. Like, in the book, the main relationship is about Beth and Chess. Like, that is the main thing that the book is about, and that's what's important. But in the show, there is more, like, emphasis on the romantic stuff, which I understand why they do that. It's because they want to make the show interesting to watch, and it's one of those things that are always, like, added in shows and movies and stuff. But I... I didn't mind it, but I do feel like it changed Beth as a character a little bit. Another thing that I did sort of think about, actually while I was reading the book, and that I sort of just thought about because I knew who played the main character like before I watched the show, I think her name is 
Anya? Anya Taylor Joy or something? Either way, she's the main character, she's the actress that plays the main character. In the book, Beth is <laughs> described as very plain and one of the like big things of her experience of growing up is that she feels plain and undesirable. And in the show, obviously, the actress who plays Beth is beautiful. And I don't think that... I don't know if I feel like the series captured her plainness particularly well, although I do think that that's just one of those things that happens when you, like, make a series. Like, most actresses are, or actors are, like, beautiful and they have a tendency to like hire those people. I do think that that takes away a little bit from the character, maybe like some of her internal stuff, but I guess it's not like super important in the long run. Another thing that I also thought about is that I felt like the character Jolene was quite different in the show than she was in the book. Like in the book, I like something happens at the orphanage to Beth with Jolene when she's like really really young that's horrible like it's so bad and that's not in the show at all and I felt like like Beth sort of they have years where they don't talk and then Jolene sort of comes back into her life and I felt like in the show I got that more than I did in the book. Like, what happens to Beth with Jolene in the book is never really addressed and I couldn't completely figure out why she wanted her like back in her life and it wasn't completely addressed. Which I thought was a little bit weird in the book, but in the series it's not there at all and I feel like their connection and friendship maybe makes a little bit more sense. There are other differences in the show as well, obviously, but I feel like most of them were pretty insignificant, or at least I didn't notice anything else that I really thought of. And even though the show is a little bit different, it is a pretty true adaptation, I feel. You need to make changes when you make a movie or a series, like that's just the way that it is. Like some things don't work as well on screen and I feel like they did a really good job. And I was right in that I think that I like the show better than the book, which I know is one of those things that like when you're a book person you're not supposed to say, but I feel like the show did a really good job. I generally feel like series that are adaptations of books are usually pretty good. I have more problems with movies because they're just too short, I feel. I do also just love all of the visual stuff in the show, like I just love the way it looks and the way that it's shot and I felt like the actors, like all of them, did a really good job and I think it's a very solid story and I feel like all of the episodes were necessary and important and I'm glad that they didn't like drag it out more than necessary and I feel like I felt more of a connection to the show and I cared more when I was watching the show than when I was reading the book. I think what got me in the book was all the chess. Like, I think it just threw me off a little bit. Like, I just lost a little bit of interest towards the end and I felt like in the show, I never lost interest. Like, I was always interested. Now, I actually kind of want to watch the show again in a couple of maybe a couple of months or something because I feel like <laughs> because I was making this video while I was watching it I was like thinking about it a lot and I really enjoyed it but I think I would enjoy it more once I've gotten a little bit more distance from the book maybe. I still don't know what to rate the book like I don't really know. I feel like it started off as a four stars and then it ended up being like three-ish, so it's gonna be somewhere in between there, I think, but yeah, I really enjoyed the show and I'm really glad they made an adaptation because they made a really, really good one. That was kind of it for this video, though. I would love to know what you thought of the show, if you watched it, what you thought of the book, if you've read it, and how you compared them. If there are any, like, differences that I missed, I would love to, like, 
hear about it and we can maybe discuss it. I know that most people watched this like last year, so maybe a lot of you have forgotten about it, but I thought it was really, really good. And I, I wish they made more of these kinds of shows because I just love them so much. So let me know what you thought of the book slash and or the show. And yeah, thanks for hanging out with me and I will see you soon. Bye!